Hi, I'm Mr. V. Welcome to Story Club. The Earth is a special place. As much as some people fantasize about living on the moon, the Earth is the best place for humans. That's why it's so important for us to protect our Earth. Let's learn more in Simple Ideas to Save the Earth. If you have your own copy, go ahead and grab it now so you can read along with us. Simple Ideas to Save the Earth by David Montez. Chapter 1. What a good idea. Some people think that our planet Earth is in trouble and needs help. In many places, people have hurt the environment. They have left garbage on the land and in the oceans. Pollution is harming animals and plants. And it is making the land and water unsafe for people, too. The three people in this book found ways to help Earth. Lady Bird Johnson had the idea to clean up roadsides and to plant flowers. Ian Kernan had the idea to clean up the land near oceans. Wangari Mati had the idea to plant trees. The hardest step for anyone is to turn ideas into actions, but some people can. Their actions make the world a better place. Chapter 2. Lady Bird Plants Wildflowers Lady Bird Johnson was born in 1912 in Texas. She was given her nickname when she was just a baby. A nurse said, Why, she's as pretty as a lady bird. As a child, Lady Bird loved the woods and fields around her home. She often went for walks. I was a child of nature, she said later. In 1930, she married Lyndon Johnson. In 1963, he became the President of the United States. Lady Bird became First Lady. As First Lady, Lady Bird traveled around the country. She saw a lot of garbage lying around. Many roadsides looked like junkyards. This gave Lady Bird the idea to plant flowers and trees beside the highways. In 1965, the idea turned into action. A law was passed that was known as Lady Bird's Bill. The goal was to make highways more beautiful. In 1982, Lady Bird started the National Wildflower Research Center in Austin, Texas. The center is used to teach people about America's wildflowers and plants. Projects there also help save plants from becoming extinct. The center was named the Lady Bird Johnson Wildflower Center in 1998. Lady Bird once said, we are concerned for all of America's native plants, from the smallest sprout to the tallest tree. She wanted people to help make the United States a more beautiful place to live. Chapter 3. Ian Kernan Cleans Up Ian Kernan was born in 1940 in Sydney, Australia. He lived near the ocean. He always loved sailing and took part in many boat races. In 1986, he sailed around the world in a boat race. He was at sea for nine months. During that race, he saw something that changed his life forever. I read about the Saragosso Sea south of Bermuda, he said. But when I was there, all I saw was floating garbage, plastic bags, toothpaste tubes, broken plastic buckets. Ian was very angry to see so much garbage in such a beautiful place. He decided he would do something about this problem in his own country. When Ian got back to Sydney, he planned a day to clean up Sydney Harbor. He was amazed when 40,000 people turned up to help. Ian saw that a lot of people wanted to take care of the land and the oceans. The next year, Ian planned the same idea for all of Australia. He called it Clean Up Australia Day. Clean Up Australia Day is now held every year and every year more people come to help. But Ian's idea had also spread around the world. Almost 40 million people in 120 countries have a cleanup day once a year. They choose an area that looks dirty. Then they ask people to help them clean it. Ian Kernan works hard for the environment. He has won awards for his good ideas and hard work. Chapter 4. Wangari Mati Plants Trees Wangari Mati was born in Kenya, Africa in 1940. In 1976, 
she began planting trees in her backyard. She looked around and saw that most of the trees in her village had been cut down. She saw that the land was becoming a desert. All of the soil was being washed away. Few plants and trees could grow, and without trees, there was no wood to use as fuel for cooking. Wangari got the idea that trees needed to be planted everywhere. She found other women who agreed. They named their group the Green Belt Movement. The women began to plant trees in their own villages. Since 1977, these women have planted more than 20 million trees around Kenya and other parts of Africa. The Green Belt Movement also helps people in Africa in other ways. It teaches people about laws and about good nutrition. In 1986, the Pan-African Green Belt Movement was started. Wangari's good idea keeps spreading. Many other countries now have groups who plant trees and help people in villages. But a lot remains to be done. Wangari Mati's idea was so good that she won a Nobel Peace Prize in 2004. The Nobel Peace Prize voting committee said about Wangari, she thinks globally and acts locally. Wangari was proud to get the award. It is not my own prize, but for the entire country, she said. And I'm told the whole of Africa is celebrating. Wangari was also named one of the 100 heroines of the world by the United Nations group. Her simple idea grew into great action. It is helping with conservation and making people's lives better. Anyone can do what Lady Bird Johnson, Ian Kernan, and Wangari Mati did. Each of them showed that when you have a good idea, you should tell other people about it. Then amazing things can happen. It's important that we do our part to help protect the environment. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and to click the red subscribe button down below. Until next time, keep reading.